Hollywood has had a dark history, a very dark history. It goes long before Disney, Nickelodeon, the Pizzagate, the Pedagate scandals. Hollywood has had a very lengthy, dark history. For starters, this gentleman is named Daryl Zanuck. He had more women in and out of his office, on his couches, having his way with him. Do you want to talk about sexual deviants and sexual predators? This is one of the first places it started. One of the first victims of the movie industry was Joan Crawford. Well, this poor lady, while working for 20th Century Fox making movies, during her tenure there, she had to moonlight as a prostitute at the force of her mom. That's what you call a real victim right there. This is Louis B. Meyer. He would be the Harvey Weinstein of the early days of Hollywood. There's one particular story that talks about how, how Ju Judy Garland would sit in his lap and he would fondle her, touch her breast, everything. She was only 16 years old. He was the first pedophile that was ever to known in Hollywood. Miss Joan Collins, coincidentally enough, missed out on the Cleopatra role that was given to Elizabeth Taylor. The reason why was Miss Collins wouldn't sleep with uh, Buddy Adler was one of the producers of the 20th Century Fox. Then you got Roman Polanski. You know why he's in Europe? He had his way with a 13 year old girl. Quarantine Tarantino during a Howard Stern interview said, she was a willing participant, no problem. Yet, Mr. Tarantino wondered why his mentor was looked at in a negative light. He should have been criminally prosecuted the one thing stopping him, he's not in the United States. For Shirley Temple, things were so bad. Is this what three, four, five, and six-year-olds supposed to dress like? Dress like prostitutes and hookers? It's exactly what happened. They put her in different movies with the same kind of get-up, with the same kind of agenda. Taking a child's innocence by putting him in roles and jeopardizing him certain supposed father figures. That's a game that's been going on for many years, going back to the days of Hollywood. The motion picture industry wide, this sweet and innocent little child had so many problems. It was hiding a secret that is still an issue to this day. Fetishes and weird tendencies and things of that magnitude. They wonder why these children turned out the way they did over time. Stories and scenes of the Wizard of Oz. They're saying that Judy Garland recalled how the munchkins, the people playing the munchkins, were putting her their hands up her skirt and feeling her buttocks. Very inappropriate behavior. It's further confirmation that one way or another, the pedophile issue was being ignored in Hollywood. Sadly, it was those demons of that past and the rumors and the circulation that led to this poor woman's death demise. Very tragic. Sadly, she would commence to a series of habits like chain smoking and eventually alcoholism. And the very demon that would eventually plague her daughter, Liza Minnelli. Very tragic. The pedophilia was so bad, it drove Shirley Temple away from a business was terrible. This is a quote from the National Enquirer. She never forgot or got over the trauma constantly having men try to grope her and molest her when she was so young, said a longtime family intimate. The constant sexual harassment was the real reason she quit Hollywood. The gentleman I'm about to talk about is in the bottom left hand screen of this photo. Among the men who, were abu who abused her were Gone with the Wind studio boss David O. Selznick who actually chased Shirley around his office desk in an attempt to get her into bed. Very disgusting. National Enquirer once again confirms the source also revealed that Shirley was targeted by famed comedian George Jessel. She later related in her words about how Jessel approached her as a teen about a supposed role in an upcoming film before attacking her in his office. In one swift moment, said Shirley, he opened his trousers and with a sudden reach, 
encircled me with one arm, his face droopy and baggy-eyed, looming directly into mine. I could feel his other hand groping to lift my shirt. Little could I do but thrust my right knee upward into his groin. Another story entails a raised knee also protected the star's honor on an earlier trip. Shirley was on a trip going to a movie location when another studio bigwig tried to molest her. She fought him off, as did many others. The source recalled, here was this beautiful young girl, the idol of America, and she was constantly being harassed before she was 16. Here's an image of her. Shirley thought she could escape the problem by getting married. At age 17, she marched to the altar with ambitious actor John Agar, but things only got worse. When Agar turned out to be a hard drinking and womanizing white beater, ultimately, it was all too much for the young starlet who quit Hollywood when she was just 22. Folks, remember, it ain't just been a problem that's been happening 10, 15, 20, 25 years. That problem's been stretching almost 100 years now. Just keep that in mind. If you want true change, there needs to be justice. Folks, please share the video, and thank you.